was such pure childhood innocence and such evil that met in that same moment. 26 years later, Arkansans are still asking the question, where is Morgan Nick? Thank you for joining us tonight, everyone, after the games. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Laura Monteverdi. Good evening to you. It's a case that dates back to June 9, 1995. I remember it like it was yesterday. Six-year-old Morgan Nick vanishes from a ball field in Alma. And the search is on, a frantic search for a red pickup truck with a white camper shell. Nearly three months later, in a town over, Billy Jack Lynx is arrested after trying to kidnap a young girl. Tonight, a newly uncovered case file has KRK4's Mitch McCoy working for you, asking, where's some of that evidence? Page by page. This is our evidence and property found that we took. A puzzle. Baseball hat, red, white. Is pieced together. Now that's my notes right there. It was August 1995. Kevin Johnson, a Van Buren police detective, got a call to investigate an attempted kidnapping on South 5th Street. An 11-year-old girl with her brothers was getting a soda and french fries. Records show a drunk man driving a red Chevy pickup truck pulled up started making sexual comments to her and started waving money around like a fan. He told the 11-year-old she could have the money if she would go to his house. She started to run and scream. The truck took off and swiped a utility pole along the way. Johnson arrived with heightened senses because a town over, investigators were entering their third month into the search for Morgan Nick. Your senses are more heightened than what's going on right now. And so, yeah, those, those don't happen. They're very rare. A key witness reported getting the truck's license plate, WJA385, but it didn't hit. Officers transposed the numbers to WJA835, a hit to a red truck registered just down the road to Billy Jack Lynx. Once we did go to his residence, place of residence, found the pickup, found the, uh, the uh, mark on his truck, he was intoxicated. Yeah, we knew pretty quick. Interviewed by Van Buren PD, Billy Jack Lynx was then charged in the attempted kidnapping case. Did Morgan Nick ever come up or, or thoughts of her? That's, that's the very reason we did turn that over to state police and FBI. Turning to Johnson's 1995 memo, quote, Lynx was released to state police and FBI for further interviews. We know what that interview was. That was the Morgan Nick interview. My interview was over. More than a week later, and with a search warrant in hand, state police searched Link's red pickup truck. Do you think that was a, we're going to tie up loose ends on this attempted abduction, or do you think that was specific for Morgan Nick? I think specific to Morgan Nick. Documents show investigators found hair fibers on the seat and floorboard, duct tape, a tarp, rope, machete, and blood in one of the seats. He um, lived about 13 minutes from where Morgan disappeared. Kelly Ward is a former prosecutor. Any sort of DNA, blood evidence is always one of the most important aspects of any investigation. Arkansas's DNA technology started coming online in 1995, about the same time the crime lab confirmed blood on Link's truck seat and that it's been retained for consideration of possible future analysis. So where is the blood? And could it offer any insight into Morgan's case? State police says it was last known to be potentially used in a separate criminal investigation. A spokesman says on September 20th, 1995, investigators talked with the crime lab about sending one particular piece of evidence to the FBI's lab so it could be compared to another case. But no mention at all of Morgan. Sources say the blood sample is not at the crime lab. Elma's police chief says it's not at his department. And the FBI, two words, no comment. You need to analyze that DNA. You need to compare that DNA to a, a relative of Morgan Nick, because it could, if it was a match, what it would tell us is that Morgan Nick was in that truck at one time. I wish we could go back and look at all the evidence and take it now underneath the microscope that we have now in 2022. Detectives went home to home in 1995 talking with Lynx's neighbors. One telling an investigator he thought Lynx had a camper shell on his red pickup. 
It was just last year Elmo police released this photo, a red pickup truck with a camper shell. Officers believe the driver is Morgan's abductor. Johnson says some characteristics of the truck and of Lynx may fit with what happened in Elma, but still has a hard time wrapping his mind around it. I had dealt with Mr. Lynx since 1983. Um, he'd been arrested several times for DWI. Johnson says one day, someone will say the right thing at the right time. The right pieces of the puzzle will come together. The FBI, I know they have my field notes. And the case will eventually be solved. That was Mitch McCoy reporting. At this hour, we don't know where the blood evidence is. Arkansas's law at the time in 1995 did not require agencies to keep evidence from some cases like attempted kidnappings. That changed in 2011. Records show in 1992, Lynx was placed on a suspended sentence for sexual abuse of a young girl. And we do want to mention that Morgan's mom, Colleen Nick, was made aware of these findings prior to our broadcast this evening.